Hello. Uh, today I'm going to, to show you how we add another thing. Uh, I plan to add feedback in our model. Uh, in previous videos we have firstly built uh, a, sh a small model of population. Then we add uh, price and price effect on demand. That was a nonlinear function, a graph function. And uh, the last thing we did was awareness, building the awareness and showing how to model delays. And now I would like to add one thing. Because in the previous model that, that we are using now, basically by simply increasing the intensity of marketing, we were able to increase awareness or to, to build better awareness of our product. But in reality, this is not this, that simple. And in reality, we cannot invest money we don't have because uh, investing in marketing costs a lot of money. And I would like to add this effect that we cannot actually invest more money into marketing than what we actually earn. So I will add variable that I will call sales. Sales will be affected by price and by the number of our clients. This is simple, so our clients multiplied by price, okay. And now I would like to add actually the effect of sales on marketing intensity. But in order to do that, I will have to add another thing. That would be percentage of sales invested in marketing. Okay, slightly bigger, and this will affect marketing intensity. And now we are talking about marketing intensity. How much are we actually investing? And since we are actually deriving this from the amount of sales, which is actually actual number, uh, we need to compare this to something in order to know if we are investing a lot or less. So I will add another thing which will be called initial marketing investment, some, some kind of benchmark to which we will compare what we are actually investing now. So let me set up the initial marketing investment. Let's say it would be 3 million pounds and we'll give it minimum maximum. Now, percentage of sales invested in marketing. So let's say uh, initially we set it to set it to ten percent. We will always invest at least one one percent of sales into marketing, and maximum let's say fifty percent, and with the increment of one. Great. And now we have to set up somehow marketing in intensity and as I said before I'm going to compare the actual investment in marketing so it will be percentage of sales invested in marketing divided by 100 multiplied by sales over initial marketing investment good so let's have a look what does it do now. So let's simulate it. And now we see, actually it, it looks very similar to what we saw before. We have quite stable number of clients. It's somewhere between 270,000 to 275,000. And it's decreasing with the population decreasing. While the awareness started at 1 and going up to let's say 1.2 it's quite low we are not investing enough okay so let's increase the percentage of sales and now we see that both of these or the number of our clients as well as awareness have increased increased so more sales we actually invest into marketing more awareness we build let's go all the way to 25 percent and we see that we are actually by investing more into marketing they're increasing marketing intensity to increasing awareness okay and now 
and you can easily have a look that we have created a feedback loop. So we have a number of our clients which affects uh, amount of sales, which affects the intensity of marketing because it's always a certain percentage of the sales, and that affects the investments in the marketing, that affects awareness, and we get back to our clients. So we have a feedback loop here. Okay, and now we are only spending the money that we have actually earned in sales. Okay, so thank you for the video or for, for watching the video. I hope it was useful for you and if you like it or you like to add anything, just let me know. Uh, you will find the contacts on, on our website. You can also download a free version of Vensim just to try it yourself, try to model something. Feel free to ask us questions and I hope uh, it will be useful for you and might help you at, at your jobs. Okay, so thank you very much and have a nice day.